Hello, my name is Michael from Clubcard, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a presentation folder in Adobe Illustrator for offset printing. I've downloaded the offset presentation folder template from Clubcard's website, and for a two pocket presentation folder, the outside and the inside templates are the same. Now, if you're designing for a one pocket presentation folder, the template for the inside is going to be a mirror image of the template for the outside. So on the left we have the outside of the template and on the right we have the inside. This would be the fr outside front, the outside back, the inside front, and the inside back. And on the bottom here we have our pockets. This is the left and this is the right. Now on the front template they're going to be reversed because they're folded in to the inside. So this will be your left pocket and this will be your right pocket. Now we are going to take a look at the front side in more detail. You'll see a perforated line running down the center here in gray, and two of them are running along the bottom here. Those are your fold lines. This is where it'll fold in half, and this is where your pockets will fold. Now the orange line here is your critical margin or tech safe area. It lies one eighth of an inch in from the trim line. Now you're going to want to keep all important information in this area so it doesn't run the risk of getting cut off when your document is trimmed. The red perforated line is your trim line. This is where your document will be cut out. And then you have the black line on the very outside. This is the bleed. You're going to want your bleed to extend one eighth of an inch out from the trim line. And if you're ever in doubt, check out the legend in the bottom corner here. Additionally, you will see these angled lines on the pockets. Those are the business card slits. They will be cut out during the trimming process so that you can put a business card in each pocket. Now you will see that we have two different layers here for each template. One for the outside, one for the inside, and then the third layer for our artwork. All templates elements are on a separate locked layer and then we can place the artwork on a separate layer so that the two don't get mixed up. Now that you understand the template, I'm going to bring in our print ready artwork into this document and make sure to place it on the artwork layer. Now you will see that I've placed the artwork on the template. We have the outside front, the outside back, as well as the two pockets. Now with the pockets, you're going to want to make sure that your artwork does not extend past the gray perforated line on the bottom. This way, when they are folded, your artwork is not visible from the outside. You are also going to want to make sure that your artwork is upside down. This way, when the pockets are folded, it will be the right side up on the inside. I have also placed the artwork for the inside of my presentation folder. Please note that the artwork does not extend past the gray perforated line at the bottom. I have made this decision because you're not going to see the reverse side of the pockets once they are folded, so there is really no need to have the artwork extend into that area. Now that we have our artwork ready for print, I'm going to just double check that I have outlined all my fonts, I'm going to select all my artwork, and you see I have done that already. Everything is converted to a shape and is no longer live text. If you need to know how to outline your fonts, check out our other videos on the site. Now we can go ahead and save a PDF for print. I'm going to hide the template layers because we don't want those to print in our document. And I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to rename my file. I'm going to call it Club Card Presentation Folder Print. I'm put, calling it Club Card because that's the business that I have designed this for. So Club Card. presentation folder, print. Selected PDF, and I've ensured that I'm using all the artboards. Now I can hit save, and we're prompted by the PDF preset window. I'm going to choose Illustrator default. This is what you need for this purpose. It works the best. There's no compression. We're going to want to make sure that we add trim marks to this though, because by default it doesn't have any, and it's always best to send trim marks. The rest you can leave the same, and under the general, we'll just want to make sure that we view the PDF after saving. You can leave everything else as the defaults. But it's always best to double check your PDF before you send it to print. So now I hit save. It saves the PDF for us. And it'll open it up automatically. Here we have our PDF. I'm just going to double check that both pages are included and everything's ready to go to print. And there you have it. That is a presentation folder set up in Illustrator. We hope this video has been helpful. Check out clubcard.tv for more videos with tips for printing with Clubcard.